talking about? Some True Feelings family, how you guys doing today? If you're new to my channel, my name is Crystal, and I hope you stay. And if you do, welcome to. Now family. I know I'm pretty popular for my not long intro shit, but y'all want to share something with you, being that this is the time of season right now where I work where ODs are happening left and right but now there's a 1-800 number that they shared with us in one of our meetings called never use alone you call this 1-800 number let them know what you're using how much you're using they will stay on the phone with you while you use just to make sure your ass talk to them again after you use and if there's a problem they'll be able to locate you and get somebody to help you to keep you alive what we practice at our job is called harm reduction because we can't get most of our clients to stop using their dual diagnosed mental health homelessness too much going on so it's really hard for them to just get sober not saying don't happen sometimes but it do but anyway that's enough rambling on let me get, get, share with you guys this 1-800 number to keep your people safe in case it's you or somebody you know and love it's 1-800-484-3731 again 1-800-484-3731 and it's never used alone Call before you use if that's you so we can still see you come to begin. Oh, of the that heifer Gabby. See, I had to wait 30 seconds because, you know, they say you can't curse in the first 30 seconds. And you know I'm a cursing motherfucker. You know I am. So I have to wait because Gabby make you want to curse the motherfucker out and take her by her throat and just strangle her. She really do. I don't like the disrespect that she gives this lady's mama i just grew up in a different time we didn't do tones we didn't suck our teeth and the way she would just come at them was just a problem for me but the problem for her was she got mad once she picked them up and mama started telling her about her face and them lips and shit how chris wasn't gonna want to kiss or look at that shit he ain't gonna like any of it okay so she you notice know she got an attitude after that and then I had like two trolls in my car like now the thing I was most like when they first got in the car I said ain't nobody gonna say nothing about this girl looking like fucking Kim Zoliak ain't nobody gonna say nothing about this bitch looking like Kim Zoliak I think she was going for a Kylie Jenner I was like no you ain't Kylie Jenner Kylie Enter. in fact go get your money back it don't make no sense for somebody to be in their 20s to get all the work she had done bitch you probably want to save that till you 40 because that's when you go need those surgeries around your 40s and 50s there was nothing wrong with her face the only thing wrong with her face was that fucking tongue inside of her mouth that was the only thing wrong with her face is this she should have had some fucking surgery on that bitch to make it not talk or, or, or say nicer shit or at least give level respect to adults elders and people's fucking parents get some surgery on that little wicked evil ass tongue she don't look good to me you look you look exactly like you look like you had fucking plastic surgery that's exactly what it looked like plastic surgery Surgery. You show sure is ugly. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Now, finally, the sister said something about that ice pack on a puss. Like, oh, girl, what you doing with that? What's that for? She's like thinking maybe you got, she got a bunch of crabs down there. Anyway, I ain't going to say no more disrespectful shit. Well, I am, but anyway. So she said she had a procedure done. Explain the procedure to them. Talk about when Chris get out, she wants to present him with a virgin. Now, mama, you on hit with me because I said the same shit. Mama said, why the hell you want to get that damn done before he get day before he get out? I said the same thing, mama. Where did you get that the, the day they coming out? I said the same thing. Why? I could tell you why I think she been having somebody else circling in that little evil hole of hers because it don't make no sense, but we going to not go over there no more. So then she's mama started talking shit about her lips and shit, okay? She said you're going to have problems with uh with Chris because he like to argue and your mouth and your tongue is an issue. He going to have an issue with it. Y'all going to be arguing. And when he see you, he going to be surprised with your lips and shit. Mama had me cracking up. <laughs> By that time, that girl was pissed off. She was pissed off. You can see it in her face. So then they get to this damn hotel, okay? 
and she still ain't saying shit. Mom and them trying to talk to her. And here you got sister over there rolling a blunt. She liked to roll her little blunts. So mom was like, you know, she said, you know, I'm just tired, long day. She's like, whatever, maybe you'll have a better day tomorrow. But no, motherfucker, she did not have a better day the next day. In fact, she woke up. Bye -bye. So Gabby gets this call from Chris. Apparently, Chris was able to use the bus driver's phone. Now, this is a prison guard. Who's the bus? Like, who says, never mind. I'm just not going to even fucking go there. Because I had a lot of questions about that. Because she used the phone to call. He used that person's phone multiple times to talk to this evil ass heifer. So, she goes to them and said, okay, Chris is already out. He's going to Philly. We need to, you know, like, go. And how she should have handled that is like, look, I just got a call from Chris. Can you guys just, like, pick up your food? Because I'm really anxious. And we just eat in the car since I'm driving. I'm pretty sure they would have went for that. But she likes to be aggressive and just talk shit. I don't know why she got a hair up her ass. Just that her attitude stinks. Like I, I, that's somebody's mom. Now when she came them to the table, okay, when she when she came to the table like saying, let's go, they was already done, okay? You could see the receipt book on the end of the table. I felt like everybody had a little wrong thing. Why go back and forth with her? She's right there. You guys are done. Clearly, you pay. Get the fuck up and go so you don't have to hear this troll's mouth. And still, it didn't be a troll, but you a troll. You done made, paid $30,000 to look like a fucking troll, okay? And like you calling them a troll. That's pro I just don't like you, okay? So, they could have got up. You know, I'm not going to give her all the him and ha, but they could have got their ass up. But what I didn't like about that is she wouldn't call Chris and told them they arguing with her and trying to fight her. Why nobody trying to fight you, girl? Why are you trying to make it to Chris like they did something to you and they not? They didn't. You all stressed out. And it's understandable to be anxious, especially when you're picking up uh, somebody you've been waiting for. God, you guys know I, I went through that. I was anxious as hell the night before, so motherfuckers knew when I got up, they better be ready because I'd be ready. So I get it, but I just don't get and don't like the way she talks to this man's mama. And it seemed like Chris don't give a fuck because um, he called her back talking a little bit of shit too. But I can, like I said, I understand him being anxious. He wants you to be there waiting. Don't be on your way when I want to see your car. So I totally get it i just don't like her fucking disrespect they like to do those things and they act stupid and they act like they don't know anything i don't give a fuck so then they get finally in the car the mama and the sister in the car the only motherfucker not in the car is you bitch so you sitting out here talking shit to these people you really want to go but now you're trying to air up for the cameras because you know she probably won't put too many hands on you because the camera people are there <laughs> All you had to get in the car, do is get in the car. But here you are talking shit. I can see you talking shit to the sister. But that man's mama, you were fucking out of line to that. I wish she would have just popped those inflated lips of yours. Somebody need to whoop your ass. But it wasn't Chris. So I'm going to talk about that for a brief minute. I don't like bitches who hit bitches, okay? If anybody should kick her ass, it should be <laughs> the sister. Like it really should be now, the Gabby's sister. Now Gabby's feeling all you know feeling all uppity and shit because she's like they don't even know we getting married so she feel like she's gonna give them the surprise of their life just to piss them off she's saying she ain't doing it to piss them off but why not why not he they can't stop you from getting married so the fact that they don't know they're getting married she's happy about that she's saying they gonna make beautiful babies um yo dude look like a cretin and a cricket so there's no way you gonna have a beautiful anything out of a motherfucking chris i'm not I, now i don't think if he impregnated jennifer lopez that ugly motherfucker could have a pretty baby if i'm sorry am i going anyway this far? heifer is telling this the sister and the mama to get out of her car Who who does that to anybody's mama? You gonna tell them to get the hell out your... Girl, I'm sorry. I know the sister says she gonna get out and punch her in the face, but I don't think she is, but I hope she do. I don't like violence, but I don't mind it on her. From a female, not a bitch, okay? I want the sister to tap her ass up. I would have got out and punched her in the car. I was like, okay, we got the keys. You ain't going? Because old girl said, uh-uh. You ain't going to talk to me and my mama like that. Chris bought you the car, bitch. This is our car. Get your ass in the car and shut the fuck up. And here she is trying to find a police saying these people won't get out of her car. She's just so extra. She's so extra. And I didn't like her last time she was on. And I'm sure it's just... It's just going to grow. It's just going to grow. Moving on from that disrespectful heifer. What are you going to do? I'm going to tie your monkey ass up.
Now I felt like y'all felt my spirit when this dude came out with a fucking piano. You know I done did 14 years with my kids and got one in now. I do commissary every three months. And I'm sorry I ain't never seen a goddamn piano on that damn commissary. Okay? So this is where they started to make me feel some kind of way about their storyline. That he would actually think, we think, he would get out of a prison. Because we never seen him come out the prison. We seen him walk on the grass. They didn't show him coming out the gates, coming out the door. I think they reenacted this whole shit. And yes, we know you're a musician, okay? You're a musician. We fucking got it. But Rick James didn't come out with one, bitch. So how you gonna come out with one? And if they can give, send it to R. Kelly. Kelly, he need, R. Kelly needs some music. Send that shit to him. And I felt like they tried to clean it up when she asked him, where was your other shit at? He's like, I mailed it to the house. You guys been talking anxiously every day. You know when somebody mailing some shit to your house, they try to fix that shit because I feel like and I'm just making shit up that after they did it they was like oh that may look stupid yeah it looks stupid as fuck and they should have done it. Now the other that problem scene. I have with Justine and Michael okay they couldn't wait to do a live and there's some couples that just can't wait to get on to do a live because they want to know how people feel about this shit that's what they really fishing for how people like them we like you we want you guys to stay together but because now i know you're going to be on life after lockup and i see you guys together all hugged up and happy pretty much anything that comes to your show now i'm not gonna fucking believe i'm not because you guys been together three years and you had enough time to fucking come up with a storyline you did i don't think i think they're gonna bore the shit out of me bring the baby mamas in it i don't think i'm gonna really give a shit about how he gonna navigate through learning his kids again and and all that shit i might it might be interesting but we y'all we've been together for a minute we the ones that always get them busted with a storyline who the kids because sometimes the kids can't keep it together with the shit so we'll see we'll see it's cute and all i love them together hope they stay together i love blended families they're a beautiful couple and i think they're gonna work off of that beauty i wonder if you guys do each other's hair because if i had if he was buying he'd be that woke up and that shit we'd be cut off and glued to my shit i beat on samson the shit out of his ass Anyway, how do you feel about Justine and Michael? You know, I, I think we all kind of feel we like them, um, but we want some drama. I, I can you know, That's what we watch the damn shows for. But I need the baby mamas because he had some entanglements before he went to prison with the two other kids. So he had that 13-year relationship with the first baby mama. So let's see. Hopefully it won't be issues, issues. Um, but I don't know. Like I said, you're sitting there and you're, you're out here on lives. I don't think I'm going to believe too much shit you have to say um, after that. That It just it always turns out that way. You had enough time to plan um, this shit. Because we know you know about love after lockup. Three years has been on for a minute. So I got a feeling they're going to go somewhere and they shit going to turn a little bit. You know, we'll see. We'll see. And if I'm wrong, damn it, I will apologize. You know, we'll. Oh, man, this feels so different. Nathan and Skylar. Nathan and Skylar. Nathan is giving me Chaz vibes. Skylar is kind of giving me a little bit of Lindsay, a little bit of Tracy. Rest her soul in peace. That's kind of what she's given. given. Um, he goes to, because we already did his ass the other day, so we already know about the meetup and all that. So he goes and he's playing pool with his friends, and then he gets this call from Skyler, of course. And he tells Skyler that he's at the pool hall with his friends. So she gets upset because of the neighborhood. She's had memories there, the drug addiction, and she just don't want him around the same other people. So here she is just pretty much like talking shit about childhood friends, because it seemed like these people have been friends. They grew up in this town together. So she's just feeling some kind of way that she don't want him getting caught up because she gonna need him to spend money on her ass. So he's letting her know, I'm just sitting out here playing pool, babe. I ain't doing nothing else. You know, just playing pool. And now, on the other half of that, I can understand why the parents of the two deceased ex-boyfriends, why they mad as fuck that they're using these two men as a storyline as to... And the way he put it, you can be next. Oh my God, like you're next. 
type of shit. So I can understand why they would be upset. Even a blurred out picture of your son, that would just piss me off. I wouldn't like it. Don't even put any picture. Just use her shit. So it sounds like he wants to help her with her grieving when she gets out. Because she hasn't had a chance to grieve about the death of the last one because she was in prison. He's like, people been talking whispering behind her back that she the fucking black widow of the shit and not only one but two so people in their little town got a problem with that so he knows that when she get out she gonna have to deal with that memories of everything you know if she didn't have time to grieve so but that nathan that's gonna be a fucking problem for you it's gonna be a problem for you i just want to protect her you know what i mean you think she gonna be focused on you if she tired trying to grieve how many times are you going to want to listen to her bring up the person who's deceased at some point that might get on your nerve if that's where they're going to go with the storyline okay but like i said i understand why the people in the town is upset about that i would be a little annoyed too people are talking about rumors about you now i don't know how much help he think he gonna give her he got clean because he was in prison his words because he was in prison Okay, so he only been out for two months and it seems like am I the only one who noticed that he needs to hear I love you from this girl I mean, love me, dude. like every fucking time and I feel like he's gonna go overboard with it Why you like he didn't? he's definitely gonna go overboard with it and I think he's going to smother the shit out of her okay but here's the other thing that I think is gonna happen I'm not sure with his first um, episode, she was talking about getting throw uh, throw blankets. Um, she described a clock that she had in her kitchen that she wanted. It sounds like she's wanting him to buy shit to decorate for them. I don't know if she knows he moving in with his grandmama. She going to be there with the grandmama. And this is where all this drama is going to come from. I think that's where it's headed. We will see. Because I don't understand. He said he was both moving in with his grandmama. I don't understand. You a tree trimmer. You make pretty good money. You say you've been working your ass off. All you do is eat, sleep, and work. Okay, that's all you do. So you should be able to afford a studio in Ohio. Don't understand. I wouldn't let somebody move an inmate into my My son couldn't move a crick. No. No, you're not going to move some broad in my house that everybody in the town don't like. We ain't going there. We ain't going there. There's going to be a lot to deal with. You a little bit of a Chaz. I see a little bit of Chaz in in, in, in him. And he's going to annoy the shit out of her. And she's not going to respect him. Because he already said he can't wait. He wanted her to spend. He's working so he can give her money to spend. But she going to over fucking do it. She going to use his ass. I don't think he'll ever get a wedding out of her. We'll see. Because I think he's going to be too much. I don't see this relationship working out. Because he seemed already like he too damn needy. Anyway, that's it. That's all. I ain't got. Oh. I don't fuck that part. I don't care. I'll be forgetting some stuff. But I don't care. I was just going to bring out him buying the ring. And he apologized to the girl that he stole the mama's car. I said, okay, I don't give a shit. Got a feeling they're going to do something to me too. Anyway, that's it. Tell me what you think. Don't be an asshole. A good Bye.